straight, but more or less. Okay? This is what we... Well, let's not say that we think. We know it's going to be the solution. That was a pretty easy solution. No? We're just going to confirm it with the graph. Okay. Now, who would like to do the, fir the yeah, first one? The first one, you have to isolate y. It's pretty easy. Bob? Yeah, sure. looks like a strange letter from outer space. <laughs> 2x minus 3. Okay, so the slope is also 2, but it's positive. it's positive. What does that mean? What's different with that line uh, compared to the other one? It's going to go up. If we move from left to right, it's going to be moving up. Okay, it's an ascending line. And then, what's the y-intercept? Minus 3. Start with negative 3. Start, start at the y-intercept. Yes, exactly. Two up, two. Uh, one to the right. One to the right and two up. Uh -huh. And maybe one more so we can see the two lines how they intersect. Okay, you want to go ahead and draw the line? No. No? Okay. So then, well, I'm going to try to do it as best as I can. Okay, something. Okay, so we can see that in fact. Now, let's, uh, as we had identified them, this would be number one, right? And this is line two, okay? Function one and function two. So this is the intersection point at two comma one, okay? Now, um, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm going to show them in the, with the program, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and punch in the, the value for the coordinate. And then I'm gonna make it a big dot. Two comma one, right? Yes. Okay, remember that this is GeoGebra. So uh, if you want to punch in a coordinate, you have to put it in parentheses, like a normal coordinate. Can you see it there? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Let me let me let me make it bigger. Ah. Okay? Now you can see it, no? Yeah. So there's the intersection point. I input two comma one somewhere over there on the top. Two comma one. It named it point A, but that's the intersection. Now I'm going to write in the equation two x minus y uh, minus three equals zero. This way of writing a first degree equation or a linear equation is called a general form. Okay. So the thing with a general form is that. We have all of the variables, all of the terms on one side, and it's equal to zero. And this one, we already know, this is a um, slope y-intercept form. Okay? So in this program, you can input the equations either way. You can do it with, uh, with a general form. Could someone tell me, please, 2x okay. y. Minus y minus three minus three equals zero. Okay, so there's the first line, and we can see that it matches pretty well what we drew. Not well, not very nice, but it's a little bit crooked. And of course, we can make this thicker so we can see it better. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. Now, could you tell me the other equation? Y equals what? Minus two x yes. plus five. Plus five. Okay, so there's the other one. We can see the y-intercept up here. And then I'm going to just make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so there we go. So we have confirmation. That is the intersection point. Yeah, you can clap if you want. That's fine. <laughs> you, you, you should act more normally. You are camera shy. Okay? So, I mean, don't jump up and down as you usually do, but <laughs> at least <laughs> breathe. Okay? There we go. So there it is. Now, um, we're going to go on. Uh, well, I was saying before that in case, in the case that analytically, this is analytically without doing the graph, we arrive at something strange like 
zero equals three or zero equals zero. So we don't have a solution, okay? And I'm not saying that the solution is x equals zero and y equals zero. That could happen if both lines cross right here at the origin, okay? But rather that when doing the solution by whatever method you choose, you arrive at something strange, zero equals four, something like that. What are the two different situations that we have? We have music. Okay, what are the two different situations that we have of no solution? Unconscious and... Uh, uh, inconsistent. Not, in, not unconscious. <laughs> An inconsistent solution. Inconsistent solution means what in a graph? That the lines are parallel, so there will be no solution. There is no point of intersection. Okay? And the other are called dependent. What? When does that happen? It's practically the same line, one on top of the other. So rather than saying no solution, we could say there is no unique solution. Okay? We have an infinite number of solutions because any point on one line is also going to be a point on the other line. Okay? Good. Any questions about this? Yeah. No. no? Everything's fine? Are you happy? Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and, and take it to the next level. When we have two different types, yeah, like level up. Uh, <laughs> when we have two different types of uh, functions, okay? What is the other type of functions that we've been seeing? Quadratic. Oh, quadratics. quadratics, okay? So, okay. <clears throat> now, when we have a system of equations in which we have a quadratic and a linear equation, Okay? We're going to have several situations, several different situations that arise. Okay? Uh, first of all, well, we already know that a linear, is, a linear equation or a first degree equation is a straight line, but a quadratic has what representation? Graphically? A parabola. Okay? So this one is a parabola, and this one is a line. Pretty obvious, no? By the name, linear line. Um, now, what are the situations that we could have when we have a parabola and a line in terms of them meeting at any time? We could have two solutions. For example, if we have a parabola like this, and then a line that goes through here, then we have two intersection points. So that's one possibility. No, we could have two solutions. That's one case. What is another possible scenario? When, when we only have one solution. Excuse me? When it intercepts y. No. When we have one solution. When what intercepts y? The line. Ah, well, okay. Okay, okay. All right. The thing is, if we have a vertical line, we could not talk about that being a function, okay? But we could find the intersection. Mm -hmm. And well, that's, that's another case. Um, and I'm gonna draw a parabola that, has, that opens downwards, okay? Uh -huh. And it doesn't necessarily have to be vertical for us to say that it's one solution. We could have something like this, okay? And this parabola is gonna be opening, opening, opening all the time. Okay, and the slope of this line is such that they're gonna be, since this is opening more, let's say, to the left, and this is gonna have a constant slope, then they're never gonna meet. But we only have one solution, okay? Of course, if we had a vertical line, well, it would be uh, very clear that there's only one solution, but it could also happen with the line having a slight slope, okay? So this is one case in which we have one solution, okay? Now, there's still two more cases that I can think of. Which ones? Intercepts the vertex. That it intercepts the vertex. Like how? Would you like to do the drawing? Like a tangent. Like a tangent. 
So it doesn't necessarily have to be the vertex.